Hello chaps, Troy Francis here in Valley Beach in Los Angeles and the topic of this video is what do women want most? Looks, money or loyalty? Okay, looks, money or loyalty? My answer to this burning question is none of the above, okay? And my answer to the question is what they actually want is not looks, or money, or loyalty, as important as all of those three things are, what they want most initially is, drum roll please, excitement, okay? And you might even replace the term excitement with the term emotion, okay? But let's go with excitement for the time being. So what they really want at the beginning in the first instance is excitement. They want to feel some sort of jolt, some kind of emotional jolt out of the mundane and the ordinary nature of the quotidian, that is the daily life, their daily life, okay? Which is actually why meeting in real life can be so powerful. Because when you meet somebody in real life, there's a transference of energy, there's a transference of emotion that takes place that is exciting, or can be exciting, that is exciting, that is thrilling sometimes. It can be intense, it can be impactful, okay? If the chemistry is right and it's done in the right way, okay? And that is the kind of thing that she's gonna remember. It's the kind of encounter that she's going to, you know, it's gonna light up her smile, it's gonna light up her day, she's gonna go and tell her friends about it, she's gonna say, hey, you know, I just this guy earlier, I this guy, I met this guy at the lounge bar, he's super cool, um, it was great. And it's gonna be impactful, okay? Which is, you know, why, although the dating apps, of course, have their place and there's nothing wrong with, you know, using them or using online, uh, as part of your dating strategy, um, social skills are so important because meeting in real life is a very powerful thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's about creating emotion, okay? It's about creating emotion, positive emotion or excitement or both uh, in the first instance, okay? The rest of the stuff is important and the rest of the stuff does come into play. But in the end, if you're not creating that jolt, that electrical jolt in the first instance in the interaction, then what are you really left with? I mean, not very much. So let's have a think about each of the other items. Okay, so we've got looks. Are looks important? Yes, of course, looks are important. Are they the most important thing? Well, put it this way. Looks can override. Looks in themselves can create a jolt of excitement at the beginning, okay? So she meets a super, super hot, good-looking Chad kind of guy. That in itself can create a jolt of excitement, even if the guy is a bit bland, even if the guy isn't much of a conversationalist and, you know, isn't particularly socially skilled. Just the virtue of his looks alone can in the first in instance, create uh, an emotional charge of the kind that will get her ex ex interested and excited, okay? However, the problem with looks alone is that if he doesn't have the other attributes and the more important attribute really, which is, you know, the social skills, the charisma, the ability to be compelling and engaging in the social uh, situation, then very quickly, necessarily that first good impression from the looks is going to be reduced it's going to degrade and we see this a lot with clients who are good looking but because they don't have the other side of things down they don't have the chat down their interactions very quickly go flat and become stale and the woman loses interest and it doesn't really go anywhere. So that's looks. I mean, obviously, yes. And, you know, 
you've got to meet a certain minimum threshold for her, of course, to find you attractive anyway. There is also that. But most guys meet that, really. We're not talking about being anything hugely over average here. Um, we're talking about meeting whatever her minimum threshold happens to be, but also, on top of that, having the ability to create the emotional charge. Uh, what else do we have? Money. Okay, well, money, you know, it's, it's such a played out topic, really. I mean, yes, money can assist you in getting you seen in the first place, if that makes sense. You know, if you've got money, you're in the right places, you're staying in the right resorts, you're in the right hotels, you're in the right lounge bar, whatever. You have access, perhaps, that if you don't have money, you would lack. The other thing that money does is it enables you to create interesting experiences, okay? Interesting and exciting experiences in the, the dating uh, process. So, you know, what's gonna be more interesting or exciting? Is it gonna be, we're gonna go to McDonald's and we're gonna have, you know, a McFlurry or let's go and hang out on my yacht, you know? I mean, obviously the yacht party is gonna be more enticing and exciting. So, and money helps to facilitate that. Money or friends, of course, you know, if you've got a network, you've got connections, which is also important. Um, there are some women, of course, who are, you know, they're looking for, they're looking for money. Um, they are the archetypal gold digger. But I think those are fewer and further between than you might imagine even in a place like uh, LA, where we are now. Uh, of course, there are, there are women like that. There are also men who look to others for a leg up with status and financial help and stuff like that. Uh, there are those people operating in society, but I think for the most part, actually, what women favor more is this modicum of excitement and this emotional engagement, okay? So yeah, money, and, and, and then, you know, depending on where you want the relationship to go, I mean, if you're looking to be her long-term partner or her husband or boyfriend or whatever, you know, money may perhaps play into that somewhat because of the lifestyle that she wants, but for the most part, that for me isn't the predominant, uh, it isn't the predominant factor unless you're targeting a very specific kind of woman, which is not really, I think, what you, you know, what I would recommend anyway. Um, and then finally, loyalty. How important is loyalty? Well, of course, in a long-term relationship or a marriage, loyalty is very important, absolutely. But it's not really what you're gonna lead with, is it? You know, you're not gonna walk into the bar in West Hollywood with your shades on and say, hey babe, I'm really loyal. You know, I mean, it's kind of, it's a bit lame. I saw a really good tweet earlier on today and somebody said something like, if a woman came up to a guy and basically offered him sex immediately, the guy might find that a little bit, probably be quite glad, but he might find it a little bit sort of too upfront. You know, everything is a bit too perfunctory, too easy. Um, and the tweeter said, it's the same thing from the other way around. If the guy offers the woman sort of loyalty and commitment up front, then to her it's gonna feel a bit sort of, why is this guy giving, it, giving away the keys to the kingdom so easily, okay? So, <clears throat> um, you're not gonna lead with loyalty. It, 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 it's a, a, of course, further down the line. Um, it, it is something that she is going to value, absolutely, if you guys get into a long-term relationship or a serious commitment. But, you know, it's not the thing that's going to set her world on fire on Friday night at the, at the lounge bar, okay? Uh, what is going to set her world on fire is the emotional impact that you are able to, to have. And that is why, for me, that is the thing that overrides the other the other factors excitement or emotional impact is the most important thing 
Um, the other pillars, looks, money, um, loyalty. You could say status maybe as well, although that I suppose ties in with money sometimes, but those other pillars are important, but they are, they come later. You know, they come a little bit later in the process with the possible exception of looks, which ties in with the uh, creation of emotional excitement, but doesn't necessarily um, replace the social skills side of it, because you need the social skills side of it as well. So, I hope that makes sense. I hope you got something from today's video from a very gloomy Venice Beach in Los Angeles. Troy Francis, as always. Um, put your comments below. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to jump on a call with me to talk about your, your dating life and where you'd like to take it, and if I can help you with that, then book a call with me on the Calendly link below, or you can drop me an email, troy at realtryfrancis.com. I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.